We are at the Pocono Raceway for the 14th race of Season 1 of the SCRL ARCA Racing Series. The 3 of TJ Hanley will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 08 of David Dryberg. Rest the starting lineup. This is the second event we are racing at Pocono this year. And it will be the last time as well. Since ARCA does two events, we're only going to do two as well. Nick Kennedy will be looking to sweep the Pocono events. And Nick Kennedy will be starting fifth. Here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. There's the command. <coughs> Got a sore throat. This cool weather and whatnot. I've noticed in the comment sections we've been having a, a bit of a uh, brawl between some people arguing and whatnot. Uh, how people are spoiling the races. <clears throat> Let me clarify. When it says do not spoil who wins, that means who does not win the race. You know, you can mention Rex and all that stuff. You just cannot mention who wins the race. And I apologize if I mispronounce your name. Grimmer has never been my forte, I guess you could say. So if I mispronounce your name, again, I apologize. I'm pretty sure half the people uh, can't even pronounce my name. But that's a story for another day. Yes, Pocono. TJ Hanley. Two wins this season. <clears throat> that ties him with Nick Kennedy with two. So those two drivers have two wins. We've had dominators. We've had big crashes. We've had last lap passes. We've had photo finishes. There's the five. Jay Barker, who just won at ORP. Looking to win back-to-back -back events. Which no driver has ever done in this series. Pace car is in. And there's a green flag for the second and final time this season. We are racing at Pocono. TJ Hanley looking to win his third event. The 28 Jeff Hunter competed for the championship early in the season but has faltered ever since. Still looking for his first ever win. Trying to go up. Oh, here's a trouble turn. The tunnel turn. No, oh, we got a wreck already. Jesse Turner in the 58, Zachary Fitzwater in the 82. <coughs> I hate when it gets cold. We are racing it back. And TJ Hanley will lead the first lap under caution. No surprise there. I just thought the wreck would have been bigger. The three-car TJ Hanley is your race leader. Let's take a look and see what, what happened to Jesse Turner. Okay, the 58 Jesse Turner just running outside the top 10. Let's see what happens. Racing Jay Barker, and Barker just clips the left rear quarter panel and sends Turner for a ride. Turner into the wall, back across the track, into Zachary Fitzwater. I mean, look at all these cars that they are behind them. And, amazingly, no one else was involved. Zachary Fitzwater was just uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time. 
You can see the contact right there. <clears throat> and then, bam. Fitzwater was able to keep on going. Field scatters. But luckily, this was only a two car incident between Zachary Fitzwater and Jesse Turner. Well, this will be a quickie caution. We'll take it back to the restart now. We are back, and the. Con the uh, We've got a situation here. The 08 of David Dryberg is your race leader. Why? Because the 3 of TJ Hanley had a flat left rear tire and had to pit. So the complexion of this race has just changed. So TJ Hanley goes from 1st to 41st. No one is out of the race, of course. Turner and Fitzwater able to continue on. So, the rookie, David Dryberg, is your new race leader. Second is Jeff Hunter. Third, Nick Kennedy. Fourth, Riley Spurley Tube. Fifth, John Racer. Sixth, Jay Jefferson. Seventh, Mike Pearson. Eighth, Dean Drinker. Ninth, Jonathan Reigns. And tenth, Caden Irene. So, three of the top five drivers have won in this series and league. Uh, the 28, Jeff Hunter, and the... Oh, we got a car coming to pit road. That's the 55, uh, Jay Jefferson. Bad for him. And we're back to racing at Pocono. David Dryberg, the rookie. Related to Colin Dryberg. He's actually doing better than Colin. I never would have thought of that. Battle for second, Nick Kennedy, the defending Pocono race winner. Trying to sweep both Pocono races. He's trying to move up to second. Well, David Dryberg looking for his second win. He won at Texas on the last lap pass. Whoa. We seem to made it. Yeah, we made we made it past turn two. Still battling for second. Nick Kennedy trying to get win number three this season. He has two wins in his whole career. Both have come this year at Charlotte and at Pocono. David Dryberg, the rookie, looking for his second ever career win. Three-way for, whoa, look, that was close. Oh, Kennedy in. Whoa, that was close again. Ding Drinker almost wrecked Kennedy and Hunter, and Kennedy almost wrecked Hunter and himself. Hunter making a move and turn two. Here's the trouble turn. No. Oh. And we made up. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh my God. The one and the 22 have wrecked. We are racing it back. And your leader is the 68 of Nick Kennedy. Once again, turn two, the tunnel turn. Rears its ugly head. And Nick Kennedy is in the catbird seat. He is the race leader. Let's take a look and see what happened to Grayson Ace Vidu and Cam Nixley. So the one, Grayson Ace Vidu. Let's see, the 48 of Chuddle and Riley Spurley Tube get into the wall. Grayson swerves to avoid the 15. Bumpers connect with the 22. And they head towards the turn wall. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm telling you, man, that wall is a killer. Head on collision. Wow. 
Yeah, so they tried to avoid the 15 and the 48 getting together. And Grayson swerves right there. Right into Cam Nixley. And Cam had nowhere to go. And at this point, they're just hanging on. Oh, my God. Well, the good news is for both drivers, that's a safer barrier right there. Hopefully those two drivers, hopefully they're okay. Of course, they'll have to take a mandatory trip to the infield care center, so... Hopefully they'll be all right. We'll take it back to the restart. And we are back. The 22-1 and one, Grayson Ace Vidu and Cam Nixley have both been uh, released from the infield care center. They've been taken to a local hospital, you know, to check them out, make sure they're all right. The 55, Jay Jefferson, is one lap down, so we have 38 cars on the lead lap. One is a lap down. We are going to get the green with nine laps to go. Nick Kennedy looking to three-peat this season. Win three races in one season. A lot of people in this entire league doesn't even have one win. Nick Kennedy has two in one season. And a car that I... Th I think this is the car that uh, start and park in ARCA in 2012 for Kimmel Racing. Either that or that was the 69 car. Which is the 68's teammate, Danny Bouchard. I think it was the 68 that start and park. I may be wrong. So Nick Kennedy is your race leader. Jeff Hunter is second. David Dryberg is third. Jonathan Raines is fourth. And fifth is... Uh, Mike Pearson, I believe. Yes, pace car is in. We're going to get the green of nine laps to go. There it is. And David Dryberg wants to go now. He wants that second career win. And he's trying to complete the pass. As we got a caution. Whoa, 17, 11, 0, I mean 82, 55. Have wrecked. We are racing it back. And we complete the tunnel turn. As the battle for second rages on. Looks like it'll be won by the 28. Yes, it will. Nick Kennedy will keep his race lead. As we get yet another caution. Caution number three. Except this one is in turn one. So as the field will catch back up, we will have the green with less than five laps to go. Let's take a look and see what brought out the third caution of the day. 17 of Tommy Hudson... Let's see what happens. Racing with the 11 of Todd Kennedy. And, well, the 17 just had too much power going into the turn. Both drivers spin out. Hit the outside wall hard. And the 55 nails the 17. And the 82 nails the 55. right into your living room. So Jay Jefferson's day goes from bad to worse. Trying to avoid the wreck. Tommy Hudson, look at Turner. Turner just turns to the left to avoid... Jefferson tries to do the same thing. Wham! Not enough time. And Jefferson spins out. As does Zachary Fitzwater.
Todd Kennedy. Just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Take one more look at it. Hard impact into the turn one wall. 45 misses. But the 55 and 82 does not. And we got a four car wreck in turn one. I'd say probably two drivers will be out of this wreck, maybe three, depending on Jay Jefferson and Zachary Fitzwater. So we'll get this cleaned up, and we'll get the restart with less than less than five laps to go. And we are back. We're going to get the green actually with five laps to go. The 55, the 17, and the 11 are all out of the race. We have 36 cars on the lead lap with a shot to win the race. Nick Kennedy is your race leader. Second is Jeff Hunter. Third, David Dryberg. Fourth, John Racer. Fifth, Jonathan Raines. Sixth, Ding Drinker. Seventh, Mike Pearson. Eighth, Konix Konixie. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Ninth, Samantha Kennedy. And tenth, Richard Torres. If we get another caution, like right as we go one lap, we should have a, enough time for a one lap restart. If not, the race went under caution, I believe. Can Nick Kennedy make history? Can he sweep the Pocono races? Can he become the first driver to win three races in one season in the Arca Series? Can Jeff Hunter get his first ever career win? Can David Dryberg get his second win? What about the 77, John Racer? Can he get his first win? What about Jonathan Reigns? Pace car is in. And Nick Kennedy once again gets a great restart. As the 08 wants to go. There he goes. The field spreads out. Knowing this might be their last shot of gaining spots. And in turn one. David Jabber trying to complete the pass. Heading down the back stretch. David Jabber getting a push from the 77. And into the tunnel turn. This is the trouble area. Oh, there's a the wreck. Oh, the 10, the 58. This will decide the race, if I'm not mistaken. David Dryberg completed the pass on second, but Nick Kennedy is able to maintain and lead him to the caution flag. I believe that ended the race. The 10 with a lot of damage, the 20 of A.J. Jones. I saw Turner spin, but he's still going. Well... Unless something happens to that 68 car, we will see a three-peat this season. Let's see what brought out the caution. Okay, this might create some controversy. The 20 of A.J. Jones is racing the 69 of Danny Bouchard, who is the actual teammate of our race leader. The 69 slides up into the 20. There's the contact. A.J. Jones into the outside wall. So that brings out the caution. The double zero, Matt Johnson, barely avoids contact. The 48 barely avoids contact. The 15 got a little tiny piece, but the 10 does not avoid right in front of the path of Jesse Turner. Turner got some damage right there. Was able to continue on. Uh, I'm not going to say that was deliberately done, but it's kind of, you know, questionable because the 69 is teammate to the 68. On board. Just too much speed in turn two. And hits the 20. 
At that point, A.J. Jones is along for the ride. Once again, the tunnel turn is the cause of the caution. Of course, you'll see the 15 just barely a little tiny piece of damage right there. The 10, Don Benson, trying to move on, does not. And Jesse Turner gets a hit right there. So once again, we have a three-car incident, but this time it's in the tunnel turn, turn two. Well, I'm pretty sure that ended the race, but let's find out. Here are your race results. That, in fact, did end the race. So Nick Kennedy becomes the first driver to win three races in one season in the ARCA Series. Second, David Dryberg. Third, John Racer. Fourth, Jeff Hunter. Fifth, Jonathan Raines. Sixth, Ding Drinker. Seventh, Mike Pearson. Eighth, Cole Nixie. Ninth, Samantha Kennedy. And tenth, Eric Wayne. We had 34 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. We had a small few wrecks, but unlike the first Pocono race, we did not have huge big ones. But everybody out was due to wrecks. Well, that concludes Pocono. We'll take you to Victory Lane for the third time this season with Nick Kennedy. Here are your point standings after the 14th race of the season at Pocono. Brian Fox continues to hold the points lead. He has a 120 point lead over Jonathan Reigns. Third, TJ Hanley, 205 points back. Fourth, Caden Irene, 275 points back. And fifth, Mike Pearson, 300 points back. Rest of the point standings. That's it for the 14th race of the season at Pocono. We will see you at the 15th race of the season at Nashville Super Speedway.